Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial on choose calls and choose rows. These are two functions that can be incredibly useful when working with spreadsheets as they allow you to easily select specific rows or columns based on certain criteria. Let's start by talking about choose calls. This function allows you to select a set of columns based on their position in the spreadsheet. So on your screen, you can see a table with rows and columns. And then, so the choose calls function uh, just selects the columns highlighted. And then the result is what you can see on your right hand side. Uh, let's talk about choose rows. So choose rows lets you choose specific rows from a range of data. So on your screen, you can see the function selects the highlighted rows on the left. And the result is what you can see on your right hand side. So without further much ado, let's jump into the spreadsheet and then see how we use choose rows and choose calls. So on your screen, we can see the table of countries, their population, GDP, inflation, and then the life expectancy. So our, what we are trying to do here is to choose the last two columns, which is the inflation rate and, the, and then the life expectancy. So the formula is going to start with choose calls, okay, because it's choose like choose, choose columns. So it starts with an equal to sign, and then we bring the choose calls, which is the second one here. And then we specify the array, the main table that we are selecting the columns from, then that is the array. So we go ahead and select the whole array, and then comma. And then the next thing is the we specify the columns that we're trying to select. We have six columns here, and the last two columns are going to be columns five and six. So columns five, so five, comma, six, and six. And then you just close it, and then you just select the last two columns, the inflation rate and the life expectancy. In this example, we are trying to choose the first, the second, and the last columns. Okay, so again, we are going to use choose calls. Choose calls, then we select the, the array, which is the main table, comma, and then the first, the second, and the last. And that is going to be the first, comma, the second, comma, and then the last row is the column number six. So, comma six, and then you select that, and then nicely you see those columns selected. Now, let's take a look at the third example, which uses the choose rows okay so in this case we are trying to select the first the fifth and then the seat rows and it's very simple so we already have the columns in place so i'm going to try to use the choose rows and this starts choose rows and then you open your parentheses and select all the rows that you are trying to select from and then this is the first, the fifth, and the sixth row. So one, five, six. And this selects the, the first, which is Brazil, the fifth, which is uh, India, and then Japan is the sixth row. Now let's take a look at the last uh, example. The last example says that we should select the country, the capital, and then the inflation rate. Uh, for India, Canada, and Brazil. Okay, so first of all, what we need is the three columns. We need the three columns. Uh, so let's go ahead and select the three columns in place. It's equal to choose calls. And the array. Is going to be this range right here comma country is one capital is column two and inflation rate is column six so this is what we have but what we are trying to select is not all the rows it's just india canada and brazil so out of this derived table uh, India is in position number two, that is row number two. Canada is in row number four. And then Brazil is in row number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 
so we are trying to select row number two row number four and row number seven in this table right here so we have to go back and wrap this function inside of two rows okay so now the rows we are choosing is not from the one on the left it's the one on the right so we are using the combination of choose rows and choose calls so i'm going to go ahead and choose rows from here choose rows the array is already the formula with the choose calls it's already selected so the comma so now we have to specify what row numbers uh, is required we said we wanted row two four and seven that is india canada and brazil uh, two four seven and then once we close it it gives us the india canada and brazil nicely using the combination of the choose rows and choose columns so there you have it and that is a tutorial for choose rows and choose calls thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe for more tutorials like this